Hey friends, my name is Allison and I'm an outreach coordinator for the Soltis Lab here at the University of Florida. We are a botany lab and we're trying to discover as much as we can about the diversity of plants from how they look to their genetics. One thing botanists do to help with their research is they will press plants and keep them in herbaria, which are basically huge plant libraries with rows and rows of pressed plants. This makes it easier and cheaper for people to study plants because you can do it any time or even send specimen in the mail to other scientists who might not be able to travel and sample in the field. Pressing plants is not just for botanists. I think everybody should try pressing plants. You don't need a lot of technical equipment. So let's make a plant press. The first thing you need is a sturdy flat frame. I have a professional grade plant press that measures 12 by 18, but you can use any size that fits your needs. Number two, you'll also need something to close your press up to keep it nice and tight. You can use luggage straps, ropes, or even rubber bands. Number three, you'll need something to press your plants into. So you can use newspaper or large butcher paper, blotting paper, construction paper, or even just white paper that you have at home and then we'll hold them sturdy with pieces of cardboard. Another option is to make a mini plant press. I used cardboard from a pizza box and old index cards that I'll use to hold my plants in. What are the steps to pressing a plant? The first thing you wanna do is find out where you're gonna go collect your plant. Now, I recommend not cutting your neighbor's plants without permission, and if you go on a hiking trail, make sure it's one where you can collect plants. They'll usually advertise that on a website or on a bulletin board outside the hiking trails. I am in an empty lot today. Next, you're gonna to want to find the plant you wanna collect. And when I cut my plant, I want it to take up as much of my plant press area as possible. You can always trim some of the excess plant bits off that you don't want anymore, but you can never add it back on. If your plant is flowering or fruiting, that's also a really awesome thing to look out for and to press. You can also even dig up the plant and press some of the roots. Lay that plant on your newspaper flat. Position it how you'd like it to look. Then close the paper on top and sandwich it between two pieces of cardboard. And then close it tight into your plant press. And that's it. Keep your plant in a cool, dry area for about a week to make sure everything dries out so we don't have any mold growing on our new specimen. You can even put something heavy on top to weigh it down even more. Thank you for watching and happy pressing!